All right, uh, lighting test, March 31st, 2016. Just completed the uh, homemade LED lights, one inch PVC wrapped with five meters of 300 LEDs, multicolor, RBG. I think they're uh, five, zero, five zero style. Independent IR controllers. There's two, actually two four foot sections of five meters, so 600 LED lights in total on a four foot bar is what I built it on for my mom's 90 L aquarium. So, not an ideal test here, but I was just really curious because this is my 125 gallon, which is six foot. We're zoomed in on a three foot section here on the on the one end. We're going to do a little lighting test analysis to see what we get that penetration of 24 inches of penetration in the bottom tank. And um, what I'm running on there normally is four bulbs. I believe they are 60 watts each. High output um, aqua glow, marine glow uh, lighting system. So you're pricey and super bright. This LED light system, I believe, produces more lumens. But the question is, will it penetrate the same? But I, I just find the colors that you can get with the LED adaptation very nice. So that said, that's what's happening. What we're looking at right now, I can see in my, my video, some of the fish look like they're doubled. That's just their own reflection on the glass behind them against the blue back and the light reflection. Uh, but I've focused in the foreground there is a white rock right here I focused on the edge of this so hopefully the camera doesn't lose its light density readings here's focus lock again here we go autofocus lock is on and so this right now is the marine glow aqua glow the standard light bar the that marine land light bar on the fluorescence i'm going to turn on one bank of leds second bank of leds like look at the brightness come look at how everything just goes boom so actually <laughs> it's a lot's a lot brighter you can just see i'm going to unlock the focus lock let it reestablish itself. Relock the focus lock. There. Okay, let's turn off one LED bank. Turn off the other LED bank. Yeah, man, that's that's interesting actually. Look how dark that goes. Wow. And you know, I've got the autofocus lock on so the camera doesn't then auto compensate and adjust. The aperture to open up for more light so we can actually see I'll turn one bank of LED as on second bank so there's what it, I mean everything's popping and that's just white coloration both off both on that's profound the difference in the camera and here in person as well to be honest it really throws a lot of light in there okay so then um, let me turn off the autofocus lock there we go, it's off, so the camera should adjust. Turn off the LED banks. It's slowly adjusting there, I can see the little flame flash. Let me help it, tap, 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 tap. Dark spot focus, dark spot focus. Well, see it's darker in the foreground because some of those fish are swimming in front of that light bar, whereas you can see some fish swimming in the back are lit by it. But even that big Venusis, he's he's back in the middle, and to my naked eye, well, he's now in front of the light instead of behind it. Okay, there's a there's an OB peacock in orange surfing in the back. See the colors pop on him there, right in the middle. He's gonna drift to the front. He's still in that light bar's range. Oh, you see the Venus just there was down in the back left corner as well. 
But let's just pop these LEDs now and watch that Venustus. And watch that OB Peacock. Off, on. Yeah, I mean, off, on. And I can tell you, like, I'm looking at the camera itself versus my naked eye on the tank. The camera is not doing justice to, uh, like, that Venustus looks dark on the camera lens, on the camera video. And um, now you see a little more color, but I, like, with both of those off, I can see the Venustus. I can see the blaze and the yellow well when I turn this on. I mean, the yellow just pops right up. It's incredible. Um, so here's the other thing. Let's now turn off the old Marine Land light bar. And there's the LED banks. Just the two banks of LED. One bank. So that's 300 LEDs, one bank. 600 LEDs. So let's go completely focus lock again and focus and aperture lock on the camera got it oops sorry clumsy okay so we'll go lights out one bank of LEDs sorry fishies second bank of LEDs so I'm just looking you know how does that look Compared to, turn those guys off and I'll turn on the Aqua Glow big bank set, the Marineland set by itself. Here we go. Off, off. Here comes the Marineland set. Yeah, you have to go back and review the video, obviously. But, okay, now let's turn the LEDs back on. One bank, second bank. I mean, it pops, man. It's incredible what the LEDs are doing. It really is. You don't see it on the camera video as much. I can tell you that. Um, now, playback might be different. So here's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'll turn off the Marineland six-foot bank. That's the fluorescence off. This is all LED now. Let's play with colors. So I was messing around just before I decided to record this. I found that... <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat, man. This terrible, <clears throat> terrible voice. Dry throat thing going on the last few days. I have found that having this dual bank LED control means the following... I go pink, slightly pink on the one bank, I go slightly orange on the other bank, and I'm looking at it through the camera lens, and yeah, those colors will look wonky to you guys watching the video, but I can tell you, in person, oh my god, the, the fish colors just pop. It's incredible the depth and textures coming out of everybody to the naked eye, but you know, let's go back, white, white, okay. That's two banks, both white, so what if we just go one bank with a pink highlight? That's pretty nice, actually. That's a nice, happy medium. I find the white and white, they're both on full white, full brightness white. If I look into the LED bank, I can see that even in the full brightness white, <clears throat> there are green LEDs on probably like 10 or 15 and that quick glance and my eye is actually picking up green in the water so I don't like that look I don't know why they're not fully and completely bright white when I'm pushing the white command button interesting but let's see I find that if I hit the pink one step pink the green goes away let's go yellow on the other bank yeah, it's too yellow, too yellow. There is one step of sun, sunniness. There's the orange. I don't know, That's that means that to the naked eye that's beautiful. I know it looks dark on the camera, but it's incredibly beautiful to the naked eye. Go back white on one bank again. And uh, 
two steps on the orange. That's also a nice combo. White on one bank, pink. One step pink on the other bank. Two steps pink. Oh, that's nice too, actually. One step pink, two steps pink. That's quite nice. So one bank is white, the other bank is two steps pink. And again, I know it's like I'm looking on a camera video. It looks pretty dark here, but I can tell you in person, it's gorgeous. The fish colors, the depth of everything are just phenomenal. So let's go back. White, white, both banks, full white. Lots of brightness, as we can see. I really do think they're much brighter than those other light banks. And of course, you know, energy savings, even it being 600 LEDs, I did the math on it there before I ordered them. I figure it's going to save half the energy. The heat will be less. They run at about 50 Celsius. Um, uh, so there will be much less heat coming off them compared to the others, which will burn you if you touch them. What else? Um, <clears throat> So, you know, a bit of energy savings, long life, they're waterproof, uh, silent, those bloody ballasts on those freaking marine land six-footers, man. Well, there's four tubes in there. Um, no, actually, one, two, yeah, there's four, uh, and three foot long each, and, um, you know, the ballasts on them, you can hear, zzz, and, you know, it's just more money to change all that. Silent, silent operation on the LEDs. Uh, and a lot of guys say you can grow low light plants with them as well. But there's some cool features. For example, let's do the fade feature. Fade 7. Initializing in 3, 2, 1. So it's going to run slowly. I've set, I've set the speed down to 30. Um, Instead of like fast flashing, I, I push the down button to slow it down 30 time factors, button pushes. It's slowly cycling through this seven color change. And I mean, you can, you can go down even slower so that it's almost imperceptible. It changes so slowly. But I thought this was a good one just for the video to take a look and see what the, the neat different color changes. And you know, what's neat about this, I think, is that the different fish with all their different colors, everybody gets their moment of fame, their color popping show, shall we say, as the LEDs cycle through the different color patterns. And you, you could, you could offset them. You could uh, push the one bank on fade seven and wait till it gets halfway through its third color, um, over it to the fourth colors. You know, halfway to three and four colors. Push the other one, and then they're they're juxtaposed, opposite color spectrum which would probably give you a lot more fish popping, actually. And then the other thing you could do, if you wanted, you could still run your other lights. Let's turn them back on. Right, so you can see that adds some more light in the background. It looks like it'll be brighter, I would say, but um, it's deceiving because the LEDs are in a color mode right now. Um, so when you hit pure white light against the color, the color mode, of course, the old marine land fluorescence there, um, they're going to look like they're suddenly a brighter light. But what's neat about this in person, it's quite spectacular. The color uh, shift, because you've got a continuous bright white light and the LED cycling, you can really see the color shifts popping in these fish. So that might encourage me to order two more five meter lengths of these LEDs. To put in another bank so I would have 1200 LED lights and you can adjust brightness on them too which is cool. I have 1200 LED lights um, on four light bars homemade two of which I would leave bright white and the other two I would put in an extremely slow much slower than this even like a quarter of this speed slow cycle and you can see it's almost imperceptible that the color is changing, but you get to see certain fish pop suddenly as, as it cycles over. So I think that's really beautiful. If you slowed that down to even a quarter of this speed, most people's eye probably wouldn't be able to catch it and make for a pretty brilliant looking color display in your tank. And of course, these are awesome LEDs because you can put them on a timer when the power goes off and the timer comes back on. 
they do not go into factory default flash mode. I've got a bunch of them I've ordered and tested, and this is the first time I've found a set that you can put on a timer. So that's very exciting to me. And these LEDs, I paid $37 per 15-foot uh, slash 5-meter length of 300 LEDs. Includes remote controls, controller units, AC adapters, the whole nine yards, it's all there in the box. So super cheap, this whole project. I now have, I think I've got about 30% more lumens than the old Marineland fluorescent six foot bar. Like this four foot bar I just made for my mom's 90 gallon tank is outputting 30% more light lumens than the six foot high output bar that I have on my 125 gallon. So if I were to make a six foot light bar for my 125 gallon, I'm gonna obviously have more LEDs on it which means it's going to be even brighter again. So I don't know. I real I really I don't I don't know. What I mean is, um, I don't know why you wouldn't switch and do this because uh, it's it's brilliant and the power output and the control and um, all of that said and done for about a hundred to hundred and twenty bucks for all the parts and everything, eaves troughs and PVC pipe and little add-ons and screws and. And, you know the tin foil reflective tape and all that type of stuff and I just followed the uh, the ideas of a few different YouTube guys who've done variations of this and you know, ta-da here we are so pretty exciting stuff so that's a freaking pretty long video but uh, needed to talk it all out to see how it all looked and what the different light intensities would do so just for interest sake I'm gonna take the LEDs off of the seven fade mode. I'll go back to bright white on both. One, two, there we go. See there was a, a little white sharpening there for me anyway, quite a bit. Um, and now I'm gonna go back and add what my favorite color currently is. A touch of pink and a touch of orange. Boom, that's gorgeous. That is friggin' gorgeous with those other High output Marineland fluorescence still on. Man, you get everything because you've got the bright white and the touch of pink and the touch of orange. And man, the blues and the, the purples and the blacks and these fish and then the yellows and orange and, and the white. Everything is just popping and shimmering here. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And unfortunately, the video, looking at the camera display here, the video looks to be about... 20% darker than what my eye gets to see in the tank but there we go so hopefully that's of interest for anyone considering DIY LED setup and um, I'll put some links in the uh, video info to the exact um, ones that I purchased uh, I'm not representing or preferring that particular uh, company it's just that was that was what was the best price when I shopped for them on Amazon uh, the best price with the most number of um, reviews where people had had positive comments that I had read off of other sites and so that's uh, that's why I selected them and happy I did because uh, I can put them on a timer now where I couldn't with any of the other ones I tested previously so Hope you enjoyed that uh, the light show.